Bob Wood here, in the second floor of the Henry Antti's house, but restored by the Goshenhop and Historians. I was recently uh, with a visitor here, and he went, came to this doorway, which is the doorway going up to the attic, and he looked at this uh, point here at the end of this latch, this is the door closed latch, and uh, there's an X uh, inscribed in the end of the, uh, of the latch, and he said, oh, that's an apotropaic. Well, it was a new word for me. It turns out apotropaic is a word that means uh, protection from evil or evil influences or malign influences. And when we look around the house here, we find several of these uh, doorways and entryways. Um, to the Gush and Hoppen historian's credit, when they had repro latches made for other doors where these were missing, they also, the, the Smith also included the X. Um, as to the meaning of the X or how it protected, uh, we won't go into that now. Uh, my guess is that even the people that cut those uh, X's in and other apotropaic marks here in the house would not have said exactly how they worked. If you'd say to an old Dutchman, well, how does that work? Uh, it wasn't that the mindset at all, like we would have, well, A pushes B and B pushes C and this is how it works like a clockwork. Uh, it was much more numinous, much more a spiritual thing, and to even question how it worked would be greeted with hostility. Um, they, they were not open to that sort of question. It worked. That's all you need to know. Uh, it was a different worldview going back deep into the medieval times and beyond where we tend to see the world as um, a collection of dead bits of stuff that we push around for our fun and profit. But in those days, in the ancient world, uh, the world was seen more or less, I think, as a unity. Uh, our ecology movement that we have now hearkens to that, uh, where the, the, if, you, if, you, if a bee depends on a flower and the flower depends on a bee, you don't have two separate things. You have one thing, bee flower. And likewise, you have the whole thing throughout all of nature. Well, they had a, that sort of um, s reciprocal spirituality in nature and in, in, you know, in the world, in everything. Uh, in, in the ancient belief, every tree had its dryad, an indwelling uh, spirit, an indwelling thing. So how these uh, epitropaics worked, and there are several here in the house, is not to be asked. It was a belief, it was a belief that they worked. It went back into deep history. And it, it uh, and that's the way it is. So this is one. We'll go on now and look at some more.